Hi everyone, I'm Nina Egan for City Lights on Novus TV. We're here to experience Bard on the Beach, Western Canada's largest professional Shakespeare company. They're about to launch their summer program with a Midsummer Night's Dream. Oh, I see that knavery. This is to make an ass of me. To fright me if they caught. Well, I will not stare from this place. Do what they can. I shall walk up and down and I shall sing that they shall hear I am not afraid. The oozle cock so black of hue with orange tawny bill, the throstle with his note so true, the wren with little quill. What angel wakes me from my flowery bed? The finch, the sparrow, and the lark, the plain song cuckoo gray, whose note full many a man doth mark and dares not answer. <laughs> Nay. I'm here with Dean, the director of A Midsummer Night's Dream. Preview show today, opening tomorrow. Are you excited? Oh, I'm very excited. It is, uh, yeah, it's great. It's great to be back. Uh, uh, my first time on the new main stage at Bard. I've been with the company now for 23 seasons, but uh, I've been waiting a few years watching my colleagues uh, figure out all this, this new theatre, and so it's nice to also then because Christopher had decided to make A Midsummer Night's Dream the anniversary production and my particular dream that we did in 2006. So it's like revisiting an old friend. Are you tired or are you running running on empty yet or are you just no, getting started? I'm tired. I'm tired because I'm 50. <laughs> I'm almost 51 for God's sakes. Um, no, but I'm not tired because I... When I come here and I'm in this environment, you know, and working with these actors, and yes, it can be challenging work, but when you see things happen, when you see it come to life and you see um, magic happen, then I'm just like, I'm inspired, I'm energized by the people, by the audience, by the actors, by the company, by the vision. Not to him else, and do him courtesies. Hail, mortal! Hail! 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 Hail. 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 I cry your worship's mercies heartily! <laughs> Hello? Hello? <clears throat> uh, your name, I beseech you, good monsieur? Cobweb! Ah! Well, pl pleased to meet your acquaintance, good master Cobweb. I shall desire you of more acquaintance. Uh, your name, I say, oh my god, he's a healthy one, isn't he? Holy moly. <laughs> uh, your name, I beseech you, good mistress? Peas Blossom. Oh, well, I should desire you more acquaintance too, good Mistress Peas Blossom. <laughs> I found a very handsome fellow here known as Bottom. <laughs> Real name being Scott. How are you, Scott? I'm great, thank you. How is the show? Are you excited? The rehearsals have been I'm going so well? I'm excited. Yeah, this is a big anniversary season for us. And, um, well, we're recreating a show that we did about eight years ago. And um, we've got a second chance to make it bigger and bolder and better and more fun. And... Uh, I think we're, uh, we've got a good handle on that so far. So what do you look forward to most about the show in your character? Uh, for me, it's, it's my interactions with, not only with my fellow actors on stage, but with the audience. When you're doing comedy, there's a great chance to get the audience very involved in what you're doing, and uh, I, I enjoy that aspect of it a lot, yeah. My fellow ministers are like invulnerable. If you could hurt, your swords are now too massy for your strengths and will not be uplifted. But remember, for that's my business to you, that you three from Milan did supplant good Prospero. You must be excited. This is the 25th anniversary and you're directing the show. Very exciting. Well, it's a privilege to be invited back to any theatre company. It's especially fun to be invited back for the 25th anniversary of such a celebrated company and with a show that was, was my first ever directing job. So I felt flattered that they thought it was good enough to do again. Obviously, they thought that you'd be the best one for the job. <laughs> well, I'm glad they didn't replace me. <laughs> so how's it been going, rehearsals, so far? Oh, it's been great. It's been really fun. I was trepidatious about returning to an early work. You know, it's like looking at your first essay or something and fingers crossed you had all the punctuation in the right places. Uh, but it's been really exciting to slap those ideas against new people and to see how they've endured and uh, what needs reworking and what doesn't. And yeah, it's really nice. Is it is it hard doing it again once you've already done it a certain way? I guess it gives you the opportunity to change things around, as you said, but is it harder? Well, I thought it would be harder. Before we started, I was worried it would be harder. Um, but once we got working, it was actually just 
delightful because you have a, a baseline to work from and that's such a treat. In Canadian theatre we so rarely repeat anything or even do anything longer than 10 nights in a row that you don't often get to soak in to some of those early impulses and this felt like an opportunity to really indulge in some of the things we loved and change the things we didn't and pat ourselves on the back for the things that are still funny. You cannot tell who's your friend. Open your chaps again. I should know that voice. It should be. But she is grand. And these are devils. Oh, defend me. Four legs and two voices. A most delicate monster. Come. Make sure you come on down to Vanier Park here in Kitsilano from June 11th through to September 20th to experience Bard on the Beach in its 25th year. I'm Nina Egan for City Lights on Novus TV.